According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in 2012, a total of 305,388 babies were born in the United States to teenage females between the ages of 15 to 19. Um, even though this statistic is a 6% drop from the number in 2011, teenage pregnancies of females can still be lowered. In order for the U.S. teen at pregnancy rates to lessen, action needs to be taken for prevention. In some household situations, the relationship between the parents and child may not be as strong as others. There may be little to no communication. In a situation like that, to prevent teenage pregnancy from happening, action may need to be taken by the teenage female herself. My thesis statement is to make birth control available to teenage females without parental consent. My first main point is to al allowing birth control to be available to female teenagers without parental consent could prevent young women from ruining their educational path. My second main point is requiring parental consent for young females to get birth control appears to raise the frequency of pregnancies am among young females. And my third main point is that minors have a right to consent to medical treatment by statute. In order for us to prevent unintentional teenage pregnancies, we need to take action. My first main point, allowing birth control to be available to teenage females without parental consent could prevent young women from ruining their educational path. In an article titled Parental Involvement in Young Women's Con Contraceptive Use by Michelle Frisco, a professor of sociology and demography at Penn State, stated that contraceptive is the best way to prevent unplanned parenthood for teenage, pregnant, or teenage females who are sexually active that, so that an accident that won't, like that won't interfere with educational and occupational goals. Parents who promote educational success keep up to date on their children's homework and tend to put their children on birth control. Studies do indicate though that teen mothers are more likely to have mothers with less interest in their education. Young women have the tendency of becoming more independent from their families while transitioning into adulthood. Parents' guidance still influences the daughter's decision making whether they know it or not. In the same article by um, Michelle Frisco, it states that for the parents who are involved in ch children's academic life, it is more likely of the teenage female to become pregnant. Not every household is as strong as you think. If the parents do not show the teen that they value education, the teen will not become goal oriented to become academically successful. Birth control should be made available to females who are minors without parental consent for the females who really are on their own out in the world and the real world. In the review, my first reason why we should make birth control available to teens without parental consent is that it could possibly disrupt their educational goals, but it appears that imposing parental consent raises the frequency of teen pregnancies too. This leads to my second point. My second point is requiring parental consent for young females to get birth control appears to raise the frequency of pregnancies among young females. In this article by Madeline Zavadini, professor of economics at Agnes Scott College in Georgia, conducted a study of minors who reside in McHenry County, Illinois, that require minors to have parental consent for birth control compared to surrounding counties that do not require parental consent for birth control. The study was con er, conducted from 1997 to 2000. The period 1997 to 1998 was the before period where parental consent wasn't required for contraceptives and the period 1999 through 2000 was the after period when parental consent was quiet, required. Throughout the years of when the study con was conducted, the percentage of births to young women rose from 27% to 34% in McHenry County throughout the years of when the study was conducted. Percentage of births in the relative proportion of, two of births to women under the age of 19 in McHenry County rose significantly, significantly to those nearby counties. In the same article conducted by Zava Dani, it said that some people argue that requiring parental notification will increase teenage pregnancies because some minors may switch to less effective forms of birth control or may not use any at all. After two years of enacting the parental consent requirement in McHenry County, 
the percentage of births to young women under the age of 19 rose by 0.69% percentage points relative to other counties. To re reiterate, the second reason why we should make birth control available to teens without parental consent is because requiring parental consent for birth control tends to raise the frequency of pregnancies among young females. So with that being said, on to my third point. Minors have a right to consent to medical treatment by statute. In a scholarly article by Richard Griffith, a lecturer for the School of Health Sciences at University of Wales, it states that children of 16 and or 17 years old can give consent as if they were an adult. The decision of that child cannot be overruled by the parent or guardian according to Section 8 of the 1969 Act. In the same article by Richard Griffith, it states that contraceptive advice and treatment is considered a legitimate and beneficial treatment under Section 5 of the National Health Service Act of 1977 and Section 41 of the National Health Service Act of 1978. In Section 41 of the National Health Service Act of 1978, it says, quote unquote, children who have attained 16 years of age can consent to contraceptive advice and treatment, including including termination of pregnancy. In review, the third reason why we should make birth control available to teens without parental consent is because minors have a right to consent to medical treatment by statute. So let's recap. If parental consent is required in order for minors to receive birth control, accidents may happen that could corrupt the educational and occupational career path of that young female. When parental consent is required, the percentage of teenage pregnancies raises according to the study of minors from McHenry County and according to the National Health Service Acts of 1977 and 1978, minors have the right to receive medical treatment and advice which includes receiving contraceptives without the consent of their parent. We all have a say in what we believe so let's hear your voice and what you have to say. Contact your state legislator authority by email or even set up a visit with them. Make birth control available to teens without parental consent. My first main point was that allowing birth control to be available to female, teen female teenagers without parental consent could prevent young women from ruining their educational path. My second main point was that requiring parental consent for young females to get birth control appears to raise the frequency of pregnancies among young women. And my third main point was that minors have a right to consent to medical treatment by statute. I think that was five minutes, 45 seconds. <laughs>